Hi there, it's Kathleen here and today I want to share with you another mini album that I made. And I used the Crate Paper Maggie Holmes Flourish collection for this and also some yeah, vintage book pages from a book about flowers and plants. Um, because the theme of this little mini album is, well the title already says Bloom. And I take, uh, yeah, hundreds of photos of flowers and plants. Um, you know, I call myself the crazy plant lady. And um, so I thought, or I always had the idea of making a mini album that included my most loved um, photos that I took of uh, flowers and plants. And um, the Flourish collection was actually perfect for this because I mean, if you've seen it, it is full of floral images. But enough of that, let's get into this. So I will show you the inside. So, so for my pages, I used a mix of the pattern papers, some vellum pages. Um, this is just like cheap um, tracing paper from the office supplies uh, section and some vintage book pages and I used a mix of regular pages, pocket pages and so on. And I included, so I included lots of photos, some of my thoughts about certain flowers and so on and also some quotes that had to do with flowers and plants. So this one I thought was really good that says I'd rather wear flowers in my hair than diamonds around my neck, which definitely describes me because what I said here, flowers never fail to make me happy. And then I have this pocket page here, so I just um, stitched this part down, so I had this opening here. And again I used some of the washi tape here and have my photo, and on the back I added some pattern paper on which I typed my journaling. And the flower here, and there are some more in this uh, mini album, is from the um, the ephemera pack that had exclusively flowers in it. And then on the back side I have this photo, which is of one of my um, snake plants or sansevierias um, in bloom, which was super awesome. <laughs> um, and then here I have this vintage book page, and it is a, like an um, encyclopedia of flowers, so you always have these entries of like the name of a certain plant or flower and then the description of it. And I thought that this would fit perfectly for the theme of this mini album. And here is actually the snake plant, so this fit very, very good to this photo. And then I have this big floral piece and another, so this was um, already on the pattern paper, it says she always stops to smell the roses. Well, I'm not actually a fan of roses, but still, <laughs> um, I thought it was cute. So I have this another pocket page that I stitched down and then added some pom-pom trim and I made this little tag using one of the papers, the foil papers in the 6x8 paper pad. Added my photo on the front and some journaling on vellum on the back. On the back side I have a full um, page photo, I like to mix in, mix small photos with full page photos and especially because this is one of my favorite photos ever, um, it had to be big. <laughs> so these are also in no specific order um, of the dates they were taken or where they were taken, they are just a, a collection of my favorite photos. Then on this page I have, it, it's actually another pocket page, but I added my photo on top and only adhered the bottom half so that I would be able to stick in this little card. I added a tag on top so that you would know that this is something to pull out. And on the back again I used my typewriter to add some journaling. And for all the journaling in this little book. Um, I used my typewriter because I like the consistent look of it and I also 
I'm not a big fan of my handwriting. Then here I created another little pocket but in a different format and I used these, um, they are basic grey and I wish there were more things like this. I can't find any of these anymore. I mean you can make them from regular pattern paper but these are like plastic um, so that you can put something in an album without punching directly into your paper or whatever you want to add and I love these so yeah if you know anywhere where I can get things like this let me know. So inside I added another tag that I also made using the 6x8 paper pad so the front is always pattern paper and the back side is white and I used my Via Memory Keepers um, this little um, punch that punches these reinforcers um, for this. And on the back I added my photo um, that corresponds to the journaling inside. And here I have another piece of vellum to which I stitched this other piece of vellum ephem ephemera um, word that it says lovely. And before I did that I also use an embossing folder to emboss the vellum. Not sure if you can see it, but these are little butterflies. So I thought this would look cute. Then I have another full page photo and I thought that um, this... So I liked this next to this pattern, this photo next to this pattern, but it was a bit too busy so I thought adding um, a piece of vellum in between would help soften it a little bit. And I don't have journaling for each photo, some are just because I like them and for some I have some journaling, so yeah, it depends. And I also glued this one to um, a vintage book page. And um, so I wanted, so I had this photo and I wanted to have some like title more or less. And I like this sunshine or hello sunshine, but it didn't really stand out because as you can see the color of the sunshine sticker is almost exactly the same as this book page. So I used one of the washi tapes to um, add some like a background to my sticker so that it would stand out. And then this is a folder page. So here I have these cute little bugs and a butterfly so this one is a regular sticker then this one is one of the layered stickers and this I cut out from one of the pattern papers and then you can fold it out um, to reveal this four page photo some journaling and then this puffy sticker and I typed this feels like home um, to make it look like a phrase sticker because I used a bunch of phrase stickers in this album but there was none that said something like this so I made some kind of made my own and another tag so this album is full of um, pocket pages and tags because I like you know I like this interactive part of taking something out and discovering something new so for this I just use a glycine bag that I cut uh, from which I cut off the top and then just stitched it down to, um, or no, I, I stitched it before I um, glued it to my paper because I didn't want the stitching to show on the back of this, so I just stitched um, through this paper at uh, the, the back and then um, just glued it down. So another tag with some typewritten journaling and a full page photo. And I tried to, because I didn't want to cover up any of the pattern papers when I had a double sided paper, um, apart from when I really didn't like the back side, but that rarely happened. So I tried to either glue my full page photos to a vintage book page or to one of the um, papers from the 6x8 paper pad because these are only um, printed on one side. And then I have this photo of um, a peony that fit the paper perfectly and here I added so this is another pocket that I made using one of the foiled papers from the 6x8 paper pad and I added these st 
stickers from the dimensional stickers or layered sticker sheet. So this is a pocket. This one opens to the side, and so that you would be able, so that you would see or know that there is something in there, or that this is actually a pocket because you might miss it when you just turn the page. Um, I added a little tab to my card, and then it says a joyful heart always blooms, and on the back I just and typewritten journal link again. This is really simple, just some stickers, and I like the look of like the mix of simple pages and fuller pages. So like this one just having especially when the pattern is quite busy, so I only have these stickers like I did here. Um, and then this is one of the pieces in the ephemera pack this little house and when I started this mini album I already knew what I wanted to use this for because um, so I, I like always try to have fresh flowers at home and this uh, PC says flower shop so sometimes our home feels a little bit like a flower shop <laughs> or I, I wish it would um, so I knew I wanted to add this and use or use it to add journaling or at least some text. And because I already had a, like a tag somewhere in here that told something about the flowers we have at home, um, I didn't want to repeat myself, so I just added a quote that says, I must have flowers always and always, which is a quote by uh, Claude Monet, the painter. And I added Claude Monet and me, <laughs> because this is something that I could have said. So on this side, or on this page, um, again I just have this photo and some letter stickers and then I added these, these were also in the ephemera pack, so these were two, yeah, not really tags but larger pieces and I didn't know what to do with them to be honest, um, I knew I wouldn't use them as an embellishment as such. So. I thought I would just stitch them together and create a pocket like this. So they, they are not the same size, but that's okay. So this one is a little bit taller than the first one and peeks out here, but I'm fine with that. You could also add some pattern paper if that white border um, bothers you. So I just stitched this card to the other one and then punched two holes in there. So I have my pocket where I can add another tag. And of course, what would be a, what would a mini album by me be without shaker pockets? So I have this one here, and below I have um, another quote that says, "There are always flowers for those who want to see them." And in so for the um, flip up shaker pocket, I use these simple stories. I already told you in one of my last videos. I'm going to show you. I like to use these. So these are simple stories. They are called Photo Flips Variety, or this is the Photo Flips Variety Pack. I believe there's also one that, or some others that only have a certain size, but this has pockets in 4x6, 4x4, and 3x4. And the great thing about them is they are actually intended to be for Project Life, but I don't do Project Life, but I love them anyway. So you get this pocket um, and then so you can add your journaling card or photo or whatever in here and on the back side you can see this white strip. This is adhesive so you can put it so you pull off the white ba um, backing and then you can adhere it directly onto your page and if you put in sequins or something you know small that could fall out um, the only thing you need to do is either put some washi over it or um, stitch it, um, or so, yeah, stitch through it with a sewing machine so that you would close the pocket. So this is um, how you can make shaker pockets really easily and quickly. Then on this side I have another almost full page photo that I added to a piece of vellum. Another piece of vellum that I am embossed with an embossing folder so it has this nice scripty font <clears throat> and
And this was actually, so I didn't have a full page, I was just trying out this embossing folder on a scrap piece of vellum that I had. But I didn't want to throw it away because it looked so good, so I just um, stapled it to the back of my photo and created another flip up page. Then on this side I have another vintage book page that I, so this is adhered to the next pattern paper page. So you fold this over to reveal the inside. And I have my journaling on a piece of vellum that I ad adhered with um, one of the washi tapes. You can flip it up to see the photo and then turn it over to see the next page. And here I cut out one of the butterflies. Um, so this is the same butterfly as beneath. So I just cut it out again and then adhered it and stitched through it to have this dimensional element here. Um, the same with this uh, back that I just added with some foam tape. And another little tag pocket page. Here I just used some um, acetate or like a transparency from the office supply store and then stitched it to my pattern paper. And I'm not sure, I think. Yeah, so the back side of this, I actually like the back side, but it didn't fit the photo on the next side or the, the paper. So I used another piece of pattern paper to adhere it to this. So this is also why you can't see any stitching. Um, yeah, and this tag. So on the front I kept it empty because the pattern is very busy and you wouldn't be able to see any text. But then on the back side there I have my journaling about this photo and this journaling is for this photo. off. So yeah here I have this photo of some magnolia trees that I took last year and I adhered it with some washi tape and I love this the color of this one because it fits this paper so well but because it's a skinny tape it the photo does fall off sometimes but that's fine. And if you flip it up I have my journaling on here. And of course another shaker pocket here and for this I actually used um, I think a page protector that I didn't need anymore so I have some page protectors in sizes that I don't need and instead of you know throwing them away or selling them or whatever I'm using them to create shaker pockets and yeah I really love them and I love these colors in the mix of them especially next to this photo. So, another um, vintage book page with another piece of pattern paper that I used to create a pocket and a tag. So, it's I'm repeating myself a little bit, but that's fine because I think that also makes it look more cohesive. Besides, you can't come up with a new technique for each page. Or maybe you can, I can't and I don't want to because this mini album took quite some time to, um, or it took me quite some time to complete this mini album. So I'm completely fine with repeating certain page styles or um, techniques. And then I believe, yeah, this is the last page. So, for, so the journaling for this photo is in here, for this one, but the journaling in here is actually for those two. And here I used a patterned paper that I cut to the same size as all the other pages. And this was also an ephemera piece in the ephemera pack that I wouldn't, uh, didn't really know what to do with. Um, but then I thought, you know, it, it would be perfect to actually create a pocket with it because the um, edges are almost um, straight and it actually had the perfect size for my mini album. As you can see, I didn't need to trim it down and because I wouldn't adhere it on the top edge, it's perfect. So yeah, I just stitched it down here. Of 
course kept this part open so I could slide in a photo and this tag and another with another photo on the back. And this is the last page. This was also one of the ephemera pieces and it's made to look like a book cover. Um, and I, so I only adhered it on this, I only adhered this part here and scored it before adhering it so that I could fold it over to reveal what's under here. And it's just another quote that says, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. And I thought that this would be a great quote to end this mini album with. So yeah, um, I know this was quite a long video uh, and if you've stuck with me for so long, thank you very much for, um, for joining me and for watching. And if you have any questions or any um, about any of the techniques, about the products, about whatever, just leave me a comment below. Um, I will also leave you a link to the video that shows how I made the base for this and some of the pages in the description box. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm very, very happy with this. And my husband even said that he thinks this is the best mini album I've made. I'm not so sure, but it definitely is one of my favorites. Yeah. Thanks for joining me. Hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.